Yeah, the spot will be fine, Will. Stella, Dan, we bury this now and promise to never speak of the last 48 hours again. Quiet Waikato countryside, there was once a house where two twins, Derek and James, lived. James enjoyed writing poetry about his love for Sylvia, the girl who lived next door. Derek, who suffered from a debilitating calcium deficiency, preferred to scheme and cause trouble. But there was more to these twins than met the eye. Yes. I want a hundred thousand dollar interest free loan. I'm sorry sir, but you simply can't have it. Really? That will be in your account tomorrow morning sir. Mother, get me a bigger spoon. Not when you speak to me like that, Derek. Any spoon you like, Derek. have to take things too far, James. I'm sorry, James. I don't know what came over me. The detonators will be arriving this afternoon. Soon, Oscar. Soon. I fear this curse we bear inside. Who knows the danger it may hide? My brother seeks to use its power. To what end, I dare not wonder. Mate, I've got a flat tire down the road. Could I use your phone? Bobby Young? that day I swore I'd never to use my powers again. I just fear that now there's no one who can stand up to my brother. Your brother's just a bully James and all bullies can be broken. I of the people know that. Bullies may look strong but but like this wire here once you know their weak spot they'll fold. But I can't risk hurting anyone else. Look James you can use your gift again as long as you remember this. With great mind-bending power comes great responsibility. James, what have you got?
James, wait! Seize him. Why then? Why destroy a dairy factory? You just don't get it, James. I hate milk. When this timer runs to zero, the factory will be destroyed. Only this abort button can save it now. But you'll never get to it in time. <laughs> you can use your gift again, as long as you remember this. With great mind-bending power comes great responsibility. So it's true that all bullies can be broken, and all minds can be bent.